Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your weekly forecast horoscope for April 15th to the 21st. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, or you would like to find out about your life purpose using astrology, or you'd like to take my six week long tarot course, all the information is in the description box below, or you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. All right, so. What we're gonna look at first is your day-to-day, -day, your love, interest, feelings, the block shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Let's go to my Sagittarius' romantic love life. April 15th to the 21st. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to so what I'm already hearing is for you guys that somebody really wants to kick up their efforts okay it's like they're like all right I need to increase my efforts here with Sagittarius okay they feel like they're that they're not getting through to you that you're not noticing them that they're you know they feel like something about this they feel like they need to put more effort into the connection okay so this is your love interest feelings okay this is the blockage or the challenges this week Oh my goodness, there's a relationship around this. Okay, uh, there is this overall outcome here. We're going to see how that plays out here. Uh, okay, so the overall outcome is a potential passionate situation, a potential offer here. I also feel like someone felt like they want something to change because they felt like they crossed the line. They felt like they crossed the line. Huh, okay. Uh, Let's see, let's see what's going on here. So remember, this is your day to day. So it's gonna be April 15th, April 16th, April 17th, April 18th, April 19th, April 20th, and April 21st. If the day to day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end, guys. I'm gonna talk about your love interest feelings more, you know, very in depth. We're gonna talk about more about the block stage and challenges and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so. This could really show that there could be a relationship around this situation or somebody who has a relationship. There already could be a relationship. Somebody could be in a relationship. All right. I'm just saying that there is a, something about this relationship around this because two of cups or lovers represent some type of relationship. And I also feel like with this lion here, right, this lion here represents for me this particular lion feels like a temptation of some sort. Yeah, I feel like there's something about this situation that feels like a temptation. And it's almost like a shock value around it as well. It's like this person's like really happy to offer love here, but there may be some complexities around this, Sagittarius. Um, hmm, okay. I'm sorry guys, I know it's a very personalized message. I don't mean to be triggering with this, but Okay, so there is somebody around you, okay, with the, on the 15th that sees you as like a long-term uh, opportunity offer. And that path is clear, okay? But you are dealing with somebody around your romantic love life that there is something around that situation that's complex, okay? So, but there is somebody around you guys. It could be a new person here because pentacles have to do with ones, new opportunities, new offers. So somebody around you does have huge potential, okay? It's something to get very excited about. And they they have a clear path, okay? So this person, whoever this person is, is a clear path. So, but unfortunately, I do feel like some of you Sagittarius, is, I know it's gonna be a specific message, but I feel like some of you Sagittarius are dealing with somebody where your heart is with this, this person over here that has a complex situation. All right, it happens, we can't help it, you know, who we fall in love with and all that kind of stuff. So, but there is somebody here around you that has a clear path for a long-term commitment here. So what's gonna be Sagittarius' romantic love life, April 15th to the 21st? Show me cards you need to see, show me the cards you need to see. Yeah, you can see right here, you guys may already be aware of this person, okay? They're definitely interested, okay? They're definitely coming out, and you can see it's gonna, it's happening fast, too, because this person's 
what I heard when I came to your reading is somebody felt like they wanted to kick up the efforts. I feel like it's this person, this Ace of Pentacles person. All right, so this one of my Sagittarius is Rancic Love of April 15th, 21st. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yeah, this person is like looking at you like, Sagittarius, you're like my destiny, okay? Not like my destiny. They see you as destiny. Like they see, you know, you have a good sense of direction for them and they, 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 they want everything with you, like the house, the home, everything, okay? So this is really good. This is, this is, this is, this is really good. What's going to have my Sagittarius is romantic love life? April 15th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Scythe card talks about, um, you actually, it looks like you're starting to want to cut away these unhealthy things from the past, this unhealthy situation from the past there. Because I feel like a lot of you guys also realize that there's been a complexity with your romantic love life, with dealing with somebody who is, you have uncertainty about if they're separated from that person, if they're still in a relationship with that person, and it's like a, like a strong temptation for you. What's going to have my Sagittarius is romantic love, April 15th to the 21st. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, you guys are going to be enjoying the moment on the 15th. It's going to be a good day for you guys, so just enjoy it. Um, oh, yeah. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You see this new love, Page of Cups energy. It could be a younger water sign energy. There's a lot of happy energy coming in here on the 16th. You think you're going to get communication, a love message on the 16th of this person missing you. Oh, wow. There's going to be some really massive changes for you guys in your romantic love life. This is making me emotional for you guys. Um, but yeah, a lot of optimism coming in for you. I do see there's still this defensive energy here about getting hurt. Nine of Wands energy of whether or not you can trust it because of the situation you dealt with from before, okay? I see that there's somebody who wants to spend some time with you in a private place, this living room, okay, apartment, okay, somewhere private. There is a person that looks to you, Sagittarius, like you're my main person. And they're ready to make an effort because they feel like you are great love. And you're starting to see these changes too, right? You're starting to see the signs. Yep. Uh, I do feel like on the 18th, there's going to be a state of confusion here because of this individual over here. Um, this one, it's like you have this two situations, okay? And one is a real good talker. <laughs> one is really about loyalty and devotion. They're coming in pure. But it, it's because of this situation, it's going to cause you a state of confusion here on the 18th. You're trying to listen to your intuition. There's rosy colored glasses around that situation. You see how they're gonna, there's gonna be a sly slick energy here. And I see that there is so much potential for this new love coming in and something that's coming to light for you. Okay, so 19th, you gotta make some kind of decision or this person over here may be aware that the new love is starting to be a factor here and saying to you, because justice represents just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? Because it looks like there's some kind of decision that's going to be made. Uh, and it's like, it's like, I do feel like there's this choice here. And it's like, one person is like feeling sad about it and the other person's like feeling intimidated. So there's a lot of regrets from the past. You see, it's like feeling bad. And wanting, you're wanting to make the wisest decision here. And so you're going to wait. You're going to give it some time. Since you're being very protective healing, you know, it's a, it's a shock and surprise about finding out about this potential divorce situation here or separation here, legal separation for some of you guys, with this, this person. Because uh, there's definitely somebody around you that's like, I want to hold on to you for pentacles energy. And there is a sense of loyalty and devotion. And there's concerns about these disappointments. 
there's this person, I feel like this friend here is the one that I hear is talking about they want to bump up the efforts, okay? Because they want to be with you. They are serious. They want to be more than just friends. And uh, there's massive changes coming in for your romantic love life, Sagittarius. So let's see what the final card is here. Okay. All right. So you see that there is a sense of like so many, two people seem to be fighting it out for you. And <laughs> there's concerns about you walking away. Uh, yeah, we see something about a marriage situation and massive changes, which is causing you a state of confusion. And uh, I feel like there's a lot of things that are being revealed to you this week. Okay, because you're in a state of shock. Uh, you know this is how it works, guys. All right, let's just talk about it, okay? Sagittarius, let's talk about it. What happens when we're in a situation we accept a, a person who wants to have the cake and eat it too? Because that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with this person over here, this one in the relationship, wants to, wanted to have the cake and eat it too, right? So they were putting you in a helpless situation. And you were just accepting because you were like, oh, I really love this person. I know it's very personal I'm reading today, guys. Uh, and you love this person and you were accepting it because you, you had these you know, profound spiritual signs around this situation with this person. And you were just like, okay. And you just felt like, okay, they're going to leave this person. And now you got this new person coming in that really has huge potential here. All right. And they're coming in, they're not attached or anything like that. But this person's deciding, well, now I'm going to lose you. And now I'm going to show up and say, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to take these actions because I don't want to lose you. And see, that's what's really, really something here because it's going to cause the massive changes and it's causing you a state of confusion now on what to do with who to choose because your heart's still with this person over here. And that's, that's really the clear-cut aspect of this. You have more than one choice or option. There's a new person around this. And they are really serious about you. But you also have this situation from before where this person you know, has it has been a, had a very complex situation and they're missing you. They want to make an effort now and it's going to cause you a state of confusion this week. Yeah, see delays and challenges when it comes to a commitment, staying hopeful of this apology. There's this person that's around you. You could work with this person. There's a lot of uncertainty and knowledge listening to your intuition, but there's a lot of regrets and you're shocked and surprised about this person potentially being single and available to pursue and you're going to have to make a decision. So I say that there's a destiny and we see communication we see main person. There's some slice like energy trying to make the wise decision and disappointments here uh, around some changes. So someone's coming in as a main person, okay? There's a joyful energy. We see alone time. We see your intuition's telling you about something. You're getting some good messages here. But there's this person from before that has regrets and there's loyalty and devotion and wanting now, uh, there's something about this marriage situation and walking away. So you have huge potential, new love coming in here. You may already be aware about this person already. I feel like a lot of you are. Uh, this may be a person you work with, okay? Uh, there's a cautiousness here because of, as I said, there's somebody here that's been like, kind of like, you know, you see, they're a wolf in sheep's clothing here, right? There's a wolf in sheep's clothing and you have this other person here that's coming in. They're, they're really genuine. They're really genuine. But this is, this is why there's a state of confusion here this week. We see that they're saying, oh, I'm going to get divorced. I'm making that decision. I want to hold on to you and I'm going to walk away from them. Okay, so let's see how your love interest feels about you. Okay, so your love interest feels that they have been taking it slow, that they see that there could be a huge potential long-term commitment with you. That they really wanna give you some type of clarity uh, or answers here about, I feel like this is the same person why they've been doing this cheating or there's been this lack of commitment or there's a lot of chemistry and passion here ace of wands like excuse me knight of wands kind of energy so it's like they want to give you clarity why they've been overanalyzing and why they've been doing what they've been doing so this person's like i want to make some power moves here and communicate with you because um, i'm concerned i don't want to lose you 
This person feels depressed and upset about this house, home, and family situation, and they really want to put the effort into the connection. There is people involved in the situation. We see the infringing party or karmic, and they feel like when the timing is right, things will align. This person wants to free themselves from these other people. They see that there is a bigger picture to this, and you do fulfill their desires. As I said, the complexity around this is something, someone to do with a relationship, okay? So that's the block shows and challenges. And there's a lot of sadness here. And we see a breakup happening to come forward towards you. And there's going to be some hard heart conversations here. And someone's going to speak their truth. So let's see the overall energy here, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups, celebration, hanging out, having a good time, more than one person. I told you there could be a work-related friendship here that's it's going into something else. And you're also dealing with somebody from before. Six of Cups energy. You're gaining knowledge book card energy about somebody who felt really foolish. And it's going to cause a massive shock and surprise this week for you. This is phenomenal luck for you guys this week. Or someone who's trying to overindulge with you because of secrets and unknowns and concerns about losing you. We see that there is advice being given. We see communication about an offer. There's deep love here. And someone is going to clear the air crying over you and you have this new beginning. Very straightforward reading, okay? There's a work-related friendship is turning into something and you were dealing with somebody from before, deep love and someone who is hurt. There's this new beginning coming in. We see advice, nurturing energy, trying to stay grounded. Uh, we see communication about an offer, okay? Very straightforward reading. Okay, so let's give you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Sagittarius is to their romantic love life for their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? What they should do this week, April 15th to the 21st for their highest best good? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. It's going to be quite emotional this week. Congratulations on your abundance. Stay resilient. It's about following your heart. But knowing that there's going to be some kind of long-term stability here. Don't lose hope, star card energy. Things are going to come to light for you. But don't repeat the same patterns, guys, okay? It's going to be easy to go around in circles again. Give yourself some time to reflect on this, okay? Before you take any actions. Because communication will be the key to your success. And Seven of Pentacles shows, give this time and see what happens. Before you take a risk, leap of faith. Because you have to make sure there's an ending here, all right? So you can have unlimited potential. Yes, there's massive changes coming in with your romantic love life. Match of life changes for you guys. Um, you're looking very attractive. Just know your value and your worth and, you know, proceed with caution. Listen to your intuition when it comes to this person saying hello again. And you're going to get some spiritual confirmation. So listen to that intuition, okay? Or even... Make sure that there is this paperwork, right? Letter, message, document, paperwork, okay? Is the confirmation for you guys. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, as I know this is a very personalized reading today, all right? Uh, I apologize if it was triggering at all. Um, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. And if you guys feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in a day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.